So we've seen that tensors are just an extension of the things we've been doing with vectors and matrices for a long time. So let's do one, one example using more tensor-like notation uh, with, um, with matrix multiplication here. So we have our yellow matrix A, our green matrix B, and we multiply them together and we get this blue matrix C. Um, so you can check that I've done this correctly. Hopefully I have. But let's write, let's write this down the way we might write it uh, in tensor notation using indices. So A, I need to match my pencil. There we go. So anyway, A, I, J. So these are both indices. Um, then B, B, J, K equals equals C C I K and then we actually need to sum over this over this side summing over J all right so so this equation right here with um, with the indices is telling us how to get a certain element of C uh, from elements of, of A and B. So let's look at C11. Taking things one at a time, C11. So C11, what is this? Uh, so, so that means I is one and K is one. I is one and K is one. So you want A1, and we're summing over J, so let's start with, with J equals one. Um, I, J, and K all can take the values either one or two, uh, since these are all two by two matrices. But anyway, C11, uh, first let's write down A11. So A11 uh, times B11, B11, B11. So here, this is our J equals one term. So, so J equals one here, J equals one there. Uh, and now let's do our j equals two term. So let's add a one two, and then b b two one b two one. So this is how you get c one one according to this. You you take the corresponding terms of or the the corresponding elements of a and b uh, and multiply them. And then you add them together for each value of j. So let's let's trace this through uh, in in these matrices. So um, let's just extend this. So a11 is two. A11 is two. So um, so we used this this element here. B11 is negative five. So times negative five times negative five here, so we've taken this one. So we've multiplied these two. Actually, I don't wanna write all over my diagram. Um, times negative five, and then we're going to add a one, two. A one, two, so first row, second column, that's zero. So we're gonna add zero, and then we're going to multiply that by b two one. Um, b two one, so that's the second row, first column, so this two here times two. All right, so, so we did this element times this element, uh, multiplied these, and then this element times this element. And that's, you can see how that's how we would get the first, the, the one one element of, of C11 from, from matrix multiplication. And if you haven't seen matrix multiplication before, uh, there, are, there are other, I haven't done a video on that, but there are other ones around the internet. Khan Academy has, has things like that, uh, which I'm, I don't doubt you're aware of that. Anyway, so if we multiply these, we get two times negative five equals 10, and then we add zero times two, which is zero. So this equals, this equals, equals negative 10, uh, just like this element here. So maybe we can do one more of these. Um, write down one more one more of the elements like this um, and we'll, we'll get the same thing again so or, or whichever element so let's look at c21 so c21 
So a to one, because, because i equals one, and we're starting with our j equals one term. And then we're going to do b one one, because we're starting with our j equals one term, j equals one, j equals one, uh, and k equals one, right? All right, so then we'll add our next term. So still, i still equals two i equals 2, i equals 2. Uh, but then we're doing our j equals 2 term, so a2, 2. two. And, then, and then our b2, or our b term, or our b, our b factor here. So j equals 2, and k still equals 1. Right, so this is, this is how we get c21. So let's, let's trace this through this matrix multiplication again here. Um, all right, so this equals, um, so let's see, a21, second row, uh, first column is negative 1, negative 1, and then b11 is negative 5, times negative 5. Um, all right, and then a22, this is 3, second row, second column, is 3 and then times b to 1 second column of, or, or second row first column is 2 here times 2 equals so this is negative 1 times negative 5 is 5 3 times 2 is 6 we add them together we get we get 11 and this really could have been blue before but anyway all right, and then we got the same thing here. So let's trace this one through. Um, so this element times this element, and then, so these two multiplied together here, and then this element times this element. Uh, and we add those two products together to get, to get this. Um, so just like normal matrix multiplication, we just went through the details of writing things out like this. Um, so you might say, why, why the heck do we write um, this out so we have to think about all of these things when we can just write out the matrix multiplication. Uh, well, first of all, it's much more compact than writing all of this out. Um, and, and, and it might not, it might not seem so compact right now because since we can just write this and we already have matrix multiplication defined this way. But, but you can write things, well, anyway, I'll stop rambling about why this is useful. Um, but anyway, hopefully you see how it works.